good to have you all here. And this is a very, very exploratory day. It's, it's the first, if you like. Um, the Centre for the Child and Family is, is very new. We've started to develop individual projects. But in terms of developing its kind of overall mission, which actually is to do with um, connecting different children's services um, across the university and in practice, we're really at the very starting point. This is probably the first meeting where we've made an attempt to do that. And I'll just be quite upfront and honest because I want you to help us with that. I've already had the conversation with, with you about this. We don't necessarily have the contacts to invite the people to come to these kind of events to develop an integrated children's services setting that, that um, connects uh, the university, the academic and professionals and practice. And I think you'll hear quite a lot today about why you want to do that. And beyond this, we would really appreciate the help of all of you in thinking about how we can do this more and extend it. So I'm really pleased you come from the Children's Centre, and we actually want far more people from Children's Centres involved than you're from Kansas. But a number of you are already involved, as you said, when we went round, and either in a research project we're doing from the university or one that we're doing out in, in, in the nursery. So already involved in that respect. But we do want to widen and extend and you know, my, my vision would be in a year from now we would be in a bigger room and that we would be representing a far wider range of centres. <coughs> and that's where we're moving to and anything that any of you can do to help us develop those kind of common connections that uh, we would really appreciate. So what we're doing today is first of all I'm just giving a, a, an introduction to the centre itself and why it's been set up and what it aims to do. Uh, then Jack, who is visiting professor here and is uh, integral to the development of the centre, is going to be just saying a little bit about him and where he's come from. And those of you who are doing the actual research project and came to the very first day had, uh, were, were able to um, meet and speak to, to Jack then. And then I'll be saying something about the project that so many of you represent in this room so that everybody here gets a sense of the kind of work that we're trying to initiate. And, and Maureen was in the first discussion about that and has really been supportive about that, that, that project. So we'll just give a little bit more information about that. And, um, and then the second project, the one that, that Linda and all the others here from Hope are involved in, we'll get some information about that project also. And what I want you to think is, that if, when you're listening to it, those who are not involved at all, when you hear them say, if, if you think, well, these projects are not really relevant to me necessarily, um, so I'm not sure where the centre is, actually these are just um, example projects. These are just we want to develop a whole range of different projects in different kinds of settings. So the questions we would want to ask you is, so if we're going to develop uh, re research, if you like, that goes across all children's services, what, are those, what kind of projects might be relevant for the setting that I might be interested in that's in principle for, for the Centre for the Child and Family, which I'll be talking about in, in a moment. And this afternoon, that's what we'll, we'll be moving on to. It's really the kind of creative imagination that where can we go with this? And I want each of you to represent yourself and say, well, where, where do I think this could go in a way that would be relevant to my professional practice, my professional setting? Okay. Any questions at that stage? I'm really happy for people just, this is an exploratory day, it's a questioning day. We haven't, in one sense, already got a framework. It is about um, your views and involvement and everything else. So if anybody wants to interrupt with questions any time, please do. Thank you. Um, the focus of the research, if I just say very briefly about myself, I come from a professional background. I was initially a social worker, and, and then I've been in various professional contexts and I've only come into the university in the last year. And the reason I wanted to come into the university was because I felt there was a real kind of separation between what went on in the professional world and the kind of research that was done. And, and my experience of research was that it wasn't really relevant to people being teachers or social workers or health workers or health workers or, or children's centres, and people didn't consult with it very much. And yet there's a huge amount of good practice going on at a, at a professional level. Really, really good practice. Like, you know, I'll come back to this time and again. I think there's some excellent practice goes on and it doesn't get fed into the research world. It doesn't get fed into the kind of creation of knowledge, the knowledge base that informs everybody else. And I just think that's a tragic loss. 
So it's something about <clears throat> how do we enable the knowledge that's created, that's developed within a practice setting to enter into the academic arena. And I guess ultimately that's what the, the Centre for the Child and Family is about, is how you do that within the kind of integrated children's services context. So the overall focus is how to create knowledge that will improve the well-being of children and young people, and as we'll talk about in the project, the actual research project that the day nurse is doing here, I'm continually saying it's you that's working with the children, it's you that has the knowledge, and that's where we want to start from. So we're seeing the research starting from the ground, from the ground up, and, uh, and with this is its overall um, focus. Why do we need to change the whole face of research? I think. The, the, the rationale I'm giving for this is there is billions spent in research. And yet when you look at the impact in terms of the problems across you know, any kind of setting in children's and families, it doesn't seem to make that much of an impact. So there was a UNICEF report which said that uh, children in rich countries an overall measure of child well-being, UK, the UK came last out of 21 countries. So I'm saying to myself, you know, it's all this research done on poverty, why is it not making a difference to pulling us, you know, children out of poverty? Why are we coming 21st in Europe? What is wrong with the research that takes place? And um, in, in comparison with 21, 25 European states, UK came 21st. So, you know, there's, there's, there's a lot of problem there. There has to be something wrong with the research that takes place. And then the major reports that, that come out, Victoria Colombier, uh, Baby Peter, you know, Lord Lamming's reports, um, he is, you know, all these major reports say we have got to improve interagency working. Now some of you come from those kind of agencies, I can think more of us do a lot that's about working in those kind of contexts. And I speak to people, we, we have a PhD student recently who comes from that kind of context, and they say we try and get multi-agency working to happen, and really we have, real, we have problems with it. And it's how you work across those boundaries and trying to find more successful ways. But, you know, the report reports that come out, despite all the, the emphasis on recently in multi-agency working, we still have 200,000 children living in households where there's a, a high risk of domestic abuse and violence, and uh, 235,000 of children in need. That is a very high proportion. And again, despite the amount of research that's, that's undertaken, there's not a lot of improvement in those figures over time. Uh, so what we're looking to do is to create knowledge that will improve the well-being of children, and we want to have developed research that has not multiple in, impact in practice, and it improves into professional working. So as I say, we would like to create a a forum here that really um, represents all the different professions and over time we would hope to, to develop that so that there's a, a, a really broad scope of professions and to collaborate more, more effectively across different disciplines. So you know you might have education, health education and social work education and, and, um, and they don't very often cross a, a boundaries. And when we look at the project later on this afternoon, we're looking at the, the training of student teachers, for example, and the traditional partnerships that have taken place, which is basically between schools and, and universities, we're looking at expanding that so that training teachers have a wider experience of um, other services within the children's services context, and it's how to enable that to happen. So 